Hey tubers, I'm going to show you today a little bit about how you SSH into your iPhone. Uh, I'm going to be using the uh, application called iFunbox. If you don't have this application downloaded, I do suggest that you get it. Uh, it's by far, to me, now this is personal opinion, the simplest and easiest one they are to use and I am using the Windows version but they do have a version for the Mac if you have a Mac so it may look a little bit different on the Mac I'm not sure but uh, I wouldn't think it would look a whole lot different All right. uh, I've been doing some reading on uh, some of the uh, iPhone forums out, out in the web cyberspace world and I've been seeing a lot of people not knowing how to put a theme on their phone that you would download off the internet unless they get them off Cydia which they download directly onto your iPhone on Cydia they don't understand how to go how to uh, I apologize for the TV in the background. I just realized it was on, but anyway, they don't know how to get them on their phone unless they come from Cydia or through Apple or something directly over the iPhone. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it off the internet. So what we're going to do, I am going to skip a couple parts of it. Uh, I'm going to assume that you know how to download the theme onto your computer and when you do that it's going to ask you where to save it I always save my themes or things like that directly to the desktop and then I can move them wherever I want to move them whenever I'm putting things where they where I think they should go so I can find them later but, but first off you want to download it to your desktop that's just a rule that I use it's it's not something that's set in stone but it's just easiest to find if you'll do it that way uh, so I'll quit jabbering and get on with the uh, tutorial so all you're gonna do uh, first off I've got this uh, theme on here called Apple and it's a theme that I got somewhere I don't know where I got it we're just we're going to assume that I downloaded it from the internet somewhere so all I'm gonna have to do to get it onto my computer is I'm gonna first have to know where to put it inside my phone that's the big thing so when you open up iPhone box it's first off it's going to look just like this okay and you're going to have to click on the little plus signs over here and then it'll open up and it says Mitch's iPhone alright you can see you can see that I'm still using uh, version 4.2.6 and I want to just give you a little tip if you're just getting started using the iPhone don't update your uh, firmware as soon as it comes out there's so many bugs and they can't jailbreak it and they can't get the jailbreak to work right just wait a little while to until you update that uh, that's just a little tip for you but anyway getting on with this what you're going to do you're going to go to th down you're, we're needing to find themes uh, this is how I find it it could be in a, uh, there could be another way to get there click on raw files go down to where it says VAR open it up under VAR you want to find stash S-T-A-S-H under stash you're going to see this themes.cmcltp you're going to open that up so we're going to click on themes now over here you see it opened all of the themes that's on my phone all right to put the the uh, theme on there that we're trying to get SSH into our phone we simply copy from PC 
all right and you see it if it don't pull up desktop you can click desktop right here and it'll open it up for you all right now what we're going to do here we're going to scroll till we find where it says apple okay right here is the file that i'm wanting to ssh into my phone so i click open all right when i do that um let me back up just a minute technically you don't have to do it you don't even want to do it that way okay if you were just wanting to get an icon or something that's the way you would need to do that okay i got a little a little sidetrack so what you want to do cancel that you don't want to you don't want to do it that way you just simply pick it up off your desktop and set it over here and when you set it in here make sure you're not setting it on top of another theme I always sort of set it in between right there and you can see down there it was saying copying such and such you know whatever and it's also telling me that, that there's a new version of iPhone box that, that needs to be downloaded we'll do that later but right here you can see Apple is in my phone now and now all I have to do is go back on my phone and I would recommend that you reboot your phone go back in open up Winterboard and by magic Apple will then be on your theme list I apologize for getting sidetracked a little bit there at the beginning I've been doing a lot of stuff with my icons and that's the way you have to go into the icons but to, to get the theme in there it's as simple as just picking it up here and dropping it there that's all you gotta do I hope this video was helpful and cleared up a lot of uh, questions thanks for watching and there's more of these video tutorials at iPhoneCaptain.com I'll have the uh, link in the address I mean the description box below uh, I do update my videos regular and uh, if you think you'd be interested in knowing more about your phone please subscribe and by all means don't forget to give a thumbs up it does help me on here to uh, to move up in the ranks faster so please do give a thumbs up thanks for watching